Hi everyone, so in this video I just want to go through um, a new feature in MASH called the drop window. So this is a feature that will let scripters, uh, Python users, uh, create reusable presets, um, reusable assets uh, for their shots or shows or whatever. So um, in the My Help, if you scroll down to technical documentation, MASH now has technical documentation, so let's just go to this page here. And if we skip to the API examples, these are just examples of um, setups for MASH. So um, like uh, all of these are Python scripts, you can just uh, right click, download them and then drag them into the Maya window and this scene will be set up for you uh, automatically. Um, and if I keep scrolling down, you'll see quite a few useful things or and some also not useful things. I'm going to uh, concentrate on these three. I'm going to concentrate on explode this mesh, uh, pile of stuff and fix intersections because all three of these use the drop window. What is the drop window? Let's have a look. The drop window is a window that uh, will appear mid script execution and allow you to uh, drag things onto it and then for the script to continue. So this is also um, non modal, which means that when this window appears, Maya is still interactive and you can still carry on doing things. And then once you've dragged these things in, you could have a multiple step um, drop window. So for example, if I scroll down a bit, here's a, an example of a drop window that has step one, do this, step two, do this. And then underneath that, there is an example of using controls inside one. So um, they can be pretty cool, pretty complex. So uh, let's have a look at three examples and then in a different video, I will go through um, how you make them. Um, so uh, let's take a look. I'll just move that over here. <laughs> And the first one we'll do is explode this mesh. So I'm going to get the Python script and I'm just going to drag it into the window here. And I get a window up saying drag in an object to explode. So let's create one. So let's have a platonic solid here. I'll just create a few subdivisions, scale it up, maybe some more. And then I'm just going to drag that into this window. So drag in a mesh to explode and then ta -da, there we're done. So what the script does is it <clears throat> sets up the explode node and mash and then adds a fall off object. And then you can use a fall off object to um, uh, yeah, make the faces of this mesh disappear. So uh, the fall off object is automatically um, set to appear at the right hand edge of the object. And then the script also adds some lights and things and whatever, but you don't have to have those on if you don't want to. So um, yeah, so that's what this script does. Pretty nifty. You can do this to any mesh, obviously. Right, so the next one uh, would be um, pile of stuff. So let's uh, drag that one in, pile of stuff. Drag in your stuff. So this would be rocks or pebbles or rubbish or whatever you want. Um, so let's just create a few bits of detritus, drag those into the window, and then it says uh, drag in a pile starting shape, like a cone. So um, I'm going to choose a torus. So I'm just going to make a torus, going to make this bigger like that maybe, and then I'll just um, I'll decrease the section radius, make it a little bit bigger like that, and then I'll drag that torus in. And then uh, that torus gets voxelized. Each of those voxels gets turned into a dynamic object. Then we hit play and then we get a pile of stuff. And then once you're happy with that, you just hit um, set initial state and then you've got a pile of stuff or you've exported your Alembic or whatever you want to do. And then you can reuse your assets or whatever. So um, just a little very helpful preset script. Um, okay, so stop moving the mouse. <laughs> uh, the third example will be uh, the fixed intersections. So um, let's take a look at fixed intersections. If I just create a mesh network and I create a plane like that, then I choose the mesh distribution type, drag in the plane and then drag in the, well, no, actually, let's give ourselves a thousand points and then let's just um, check for intersections. So lots of intersections, see those. Um, <clears throat> and then if I drag in the fixed intersection script, it says drag in a mash waiter. So let's do that, middle mash, drag in a mash waiter. And then, ta-da, if I just have a look at the, um, if I have a look at the, uh, edges again, you can see that um, we have almost fixed all of the intersections. So um, there is, I don't know if you noticed in the UI for this script, there is a um, iteration slider that goes between zero and 20. So uh, let's say that's 20 and let's do it again. 
and just fix those a bit more. So there you go. So um, <clears throat> uh, that is the fixed intersection script. So you just, you know, you can just, I mean, even if you're not a scripter, you can actually use this. It might be helpful for you. So um, there you go. And that's it. So those are kind of the kind of useful things you can do with the drop window. Um, just easier than uh, doing the normal Maya thing, which is selecting a whole bunch of stuff and then running a script and having to have selected it in the right order or, or um, some of the difficult UIs where you select something and then uh, click a button to choose it and then select something else and then click another button to choose it. Just drag and drop is easier. So uh, that's why we've introduced this and um, hopefully uh, you will find a use for it. Um, and that's it. That's the drop window. Um, go script things and show us what you do. <laughs>